is up guys happy toaster tuesday Whew, it's been a marathon day for me i got the xb washed it's looking good stance update all right it's been a couple days hasn't settled all that much but i'm starting to really like the look so uh happy about that so in today's video we are going to get the front windshield tinted and we're going to go ahead and get this banner installed from cardrugs.com now i bought this a couple weeks ago and uh from what I could tell, it's a very good product. We're going to find out when it, once it gets installed today. But I will say that customer service could be a little bit better than it is. So I won't get into it. Let's just say it was an uh, unusual customer service experience for me. But anyway, I'll put a link down below if you're interested in getting a, uh, a uh, banner like this for your car. And they have others too, which are pretty cool. So check them out, cardrugs.com. But anyway, a couple weeks ago, I got the windshield uh, replaced. And you say, well, who cares? You know, it's just a stupid windshield getting replaced. But there were a couple reasons why I got it replaced that had some uh, stone chips in it. Um, but nothing like cracked really bad or anything like that. But what was happening was I was getting water somehow getting inside of the car. So that was the kind of final straw for me to get the windshield replaced. And uh, I want to just show you real quick. I pointed this out in an earlier video. I don't know which one it was. It was a couple videos back. But there's a gasket that goes around your windshield and there's going to be a seam. Okay, so the seam's going to be here or it's going to be down here or it's going to be somewhere around here. But there's basically two pieces that go around the windshield. And you can see here how tight the seam is. On mine, before I got replaced, there was at least an eighth of an inch, maybe even more of a space in between the top gasket and the bottom gasket on both sides of the windshield. So I have a feeling that that might have been where the water was kind of making its way in. Also, when I got the windshield replaced, the installer pointed out to me that it is not the original windshield that had been replaced before, and whoever replaced it before didn't do a great job because there were two sections of the windshield that actually were not even touching anything. So it's possible that water or air were getting through those areas. One last thing I was noticing was I was actually developing rust on the A-pillar here inside this seam. And what, what had happened was is that this gasket, you can see, is sitting real flush against the A-pillar. It had folded in a little bit. Whether debris had gotten in there or what, it caused it to fold in. And as a result, water was not draining properly down through this little channel. So when the installer pulled it off, he showed me. And sure enough, there was some rust developing along the A-pillar there where the glass actually meets the pillar. He was able to kind of take a little wire wheel and clean it all out and reseal it before installing the windshield. I'm really loving these mirrors. It's a little bit strange because like the driver's side is like one of those mirrors that you know usually you get on the passenger side where it says images in mirror are larger than they appear. So it, it does seem smaller, but I've gotten used to it. I absolutely love the look of these things. I still haven't done anything with the gasket or weather stripping here. Again, it's not bothering me at all. You can see over there, it's more noticeable, but it's really not an issue and I'm loving my little heads-up display holder they don't make this heads-up display anymore it's made by Scotia did a review on it like two years ago it's like $30 off Amazon but they do have other heads-up displays and it doesn't look great on camera because the digital readout is constantly kind of like flickering and the camera's so fast it's like picking it up but in person trust me there's no flickering it's clear as day and at night it's absolutely beautiful so um, it's not necessarily full sun right now. It's a little cloudy, but you can see I hope you can see in the camera that you can really clearly see the tack as well as how fast you're going So like I said in the open, we're going to get the windshield tinted get that banner installed I've never had my front windshield tinted before but it's something I've always wanted to do in this car now You can't do this in every state. You can do it in Florida um, We're gonna go with 50% tint on the front windshield the installer was trying to sell me on 35% and he was like, no, 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 it's fine. I do it in all my cars, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, you know, maybe I will do 35%. But then he said in certain times at night, he has to roll his window down in order to see where it's going <laughs> to make a turn. So I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not rolling my window down to make a turn. Forget it. So 50% is definitely going to be better than what we have right now, which is nothing. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm also hopefully going to do a XB review. One of the guys who works there, he has a sick XB got it like a year ago and um, I stopped over there and we started talking and he's like I just picked up one of these XBs I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I don't even know if I like it um, but now he loves it and wait till you see it man it's absolutely incredible so I'm hoping we get to do a review of his car in this video <laughs> we're here oh man just drag going up there Check out that XP!
<laughs> oh dude she's all cleaned up looks sick so anyway he had a Corolla it died and he needed a car in a pinch and he wound up buying this thing for just a couple thousand bucks it's completely stock totally unmodified and after talking to me for five minutes <laughs> I helped motivate him to get doing stuff to it and he took it to a whole nother level if you want to follow him on Instagram his Instagram's right here mnk.dsn so definitely check him out I mean this build is insane it is like absolutely perfect he did so much of this stuff himself check out the splitters down here super cool the Ecto-1 license plate I mean I don't even know what is going on with these wheels but <laughs> He's got a bazillion lug nuts somehow. The roof rack, I mean, just insane, man, insane. The, the, and the, the CB antennas, and I love what he did here. He took the stock OEM wing, added a piece to it, put the uh, kind of caution, caution graphics on it, and boom, he made himself a totally awesome, unique spoiler that would look cool on any XP. Makes mine look totally lame. So let me show you real quick underneath the hood here. You're not gonna believe this. Check out the length that he goes to make this a complete build. I mean, the actual ecto packs and the little, the little ghost catchers, whatever you want to call those things. This thing is insane. The details, dude. The details are incredible. And he's got Slimer on like this little slider. Check it out. As he drives. It slides left and right, and people go crazy. They think it's like an automatic, automated thing. And it's just gravity pulling this thing from left to right. Interior-wise, he painted a couple pieces. He's got a cool little, like, box over there. Changed out his, uh, his stereo. He's got, he's got the, the biggest Broadway mirror known to man, as well as the uh, Egon headlamp thing, whatever the heck that thing is called. This is an absolute insane themed build. One of the best I've ever seen. It's not overdone. It's just, it's just perfect, man. I love this car. All right, guys, so I just got finished getting the windshield tinted over here at A&G Graphics and the banner put on. What do you guys think, huh? Do you like it? Do you love it? I think it actually looks freaking awesome, man. Check it out. What does the actual banner actually mean in Japan? Well, it means progression um, you can see it right up here it's kind of ghosted into the banner but anyway I think it looks awesome and I think I'm gonna continue with this JDM theme with some sort of wrap coming in the near future so that's gonna do it for this one guys I'm gonna get out of the rain I'm gonna get away from the loud traffic thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments what you think of the window banner the tinted front windshield let me know if you're into a JDM theme on the XB and uh, we'll see you next Tuesday, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.